Hello, this is Lauren Lepery sitting in on uh, Breeze and Beerman. I will be taking this segment, and I'm very happy to have this special guest here with me today. Uh, South Jersey has been blessed for the last 14 years with a convention that takes place twice in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. This convention is called the Monster Mania Convention, where people who loved horror movies could come see their favorite horror icons and meet them from all walks of life and other other icons from outside of the horror movie uh, genre too. But it is run by the infamous Hagen family. And uh, I'm very happy to welcome one of the Hagen members that helped run it, Dave Hagen. How are we doing, buddy? I'm, I'm doing very well. How about yourself, Lauren? Uh, thank you for having me. Yes, thank you for coming. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. it. South Jersey. We stick together here. <laughs> no, no, you have to. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so Dave, basically, I got a lot of questions for you. Oh, yeah, go nuts, you go nuts, go nuts. Where did it all come from? What made your family decide to take a dive in and take uh, this big I, chance? Yeah, yeah, uh, dive, dive in's a very good word. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so my, my father and I, actually primarily my father, had um, a uh, web store where he sold you know, horror merchandise and memorabilia, and we, we did conventions. And around uh, June of 2002, we, we were driving home from a convention in Pittsburgh, and um, if you've ever seen my father drive, you don't you don't want him to drive. <laughs> so so we're we're driving like six or seven hours back from Pittsburgh area to uh, South Jersey, Philadelphia, and it's like me driving the whole way, and uh, just to kind of say like aware, you know, we, we just started having you know, good conversations, and it led into like, hey, what if we did our own convention, and like who would you get, how would you do it, um, you know. What, what would you do some of the conventions do now and what would you do differently so again i mean we this, this went on for a few hours um probably within a couple of weeks it's like yo dude uh we're having a convention and, and, and like and he, he already just through the relationships that he had with s several of the stars uh -huh. um you know, he, he was able to start getting stars to, to sign on for the convention we didn't have we didn't have a date we didn't have a hotel but we had a convention, we had stars, we had web, like, you know, no, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, hey, I'm going on a trip and, uh, you know, you're going on a car trip and you're on the car. So. I guess the first one must have been the most butterfly ones, like, is this going to work or oh, God, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and it, again, it is a um, substantial financial investment because my, my dad had to take out, like, uh, you know, we all have and still have day jobs. Mm -hmm. And he, like, cashed out his 401k and, like, put everything into this. So, I mean, a lot of it was you know, hey, can you know, can we just not lose our shirt? Can we do a convention and not lose our shirt? Because uh -huh. um, at that point, you know, you just don't want to lose more money than you've already invested. And um, especially with the first one, you know, it's, you kind of get like the iceberg analogy yep. where like, like, you know, you can see only 10% of the iceberg and the other 90% is underwater. And like, you, you, you think you know what you're getting into. You have like no, you know, until it happens, you have like no idea. Gotcha. So then you have them basically for, for the following few years, basically every six months you have your spring show and you got your summer show. Yeah, is, yeah. Is what you guys basically formed into. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so once you, like, you got your bearings going, like, how, did, did, it was a really good feeling for your family. Like, wow, it looks like we're here to stay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from the, uh, you know, I mean, from the first one on, like, you know, you, you don't know if, you know, the anxiety with like, hey, are 10 people going to show up or 1,000 people going to show up? Mm -hmm. And um, no, you, you just you just didn't know. And fortunately, you know, a lot of people came to the point where we had outgrown our original hotel, mm -hmm. and we, we've been at the hotel that we're at now, the um, uh, the Cherry Hill Crown Plaza. Uh, it used to be the Hilton as well. Um, we've been there since our second show, and even even from the second show on, we've been able to get like we had, like Robert England for like the second show. And, and for me, you know, growing up, you know, literally like. Not too many things I was afraid of, but like Freddy Krueger, like, you know, he, he was frightening. You know, I mean, especially, you know, in, in the uh, you know, mid 80s, it was like Freddy was the man. And, and to be able to get him and like, well, we've got, you know, we got Robert you, England. You got it, 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 it was, yeah, it, it was huge. I mean, um, and for, from the first show, I mean, I mean we, we did have um, yeah, Doug Bradley, who was Pinhead, and uh, Ben Chapman, yeah, who was the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, and um, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about Betsy. Yeah. That was, that was. That I was, was at every one of them. Okay, thank you, Laura. <laughs> that, that was one of her first like horror conventions, and we had paired her up with Kane Hodder, so yeah. it was kind of like a uh, 
you know, like like a first like mother and son reunion. So kind of like, obviously your father's the big cheese of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like uh, your brother Doug, he takes care of like, all the vendors. Is he, that kind of like his position. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's always he's always been very good um, with, with like hands on stuff and, and dimensions, and that's kind of where his career's taken him as well. So, hey, you know, vendor you know, vendor layouts and positioning. Um, you guys are this is basically. You guys are still working besides us, or oh yeah, 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 no, it, it, it'd be. So basically, you're kind of like what I when I'm in the film business. You leave your day job, but then your real job starts. Is it kind of like a full time thing uh, for all you guys? It, 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 it runs hot and cold, mm-hmm. and like like we we have like a little bit of downtime. Um, you know, now that we have like a system running, but I mean, probably between. Uh, we actually have a third show in around the Baltimore, Maryland area. And so around from like late October to to probably like like the new year, things are kind of slower just because you know, a lot of stars don't want to, to you know they want to wait till the holidays are over to like start signing things. You said a key thing, so you have another show. You have another show in Maryland. You've been doing yeah, for the last yeah. couple of years. So are you trying to branch out more of the tri state? You guys, you guys going to go nuts and try to? Oh, we we oh, oh well we we had actually wow back in. Back in '09, uh, when we originally branched out, was was Connecticut, uh-huh. and um, uh, you know, unfortunately, that, that that was a show like you know, we had Bruce Campbell and Robert England, and um, you know, for probably more than a few reasons, it didn't seem like it it, it worked out or it drew too well, and you know, it could have been like the location, but uh, you know, could we, be the people we, up there too. We like tried doing that. It, yeah, I mean, again, I think it was like no, no, no soul item, but I mean, it, it was. It's a lot of time and a lot of money for things to. Uh... You guys have been doing this since 2003, I believe, it was September 26th weekend. Yeah, was yeah, the first yeah, one. yeah, and that's actually um, my late grandfather's birthday, so it kind of worked out that. You know, I don't know. If, I don't know if it worked out or my dad worked it out, but it was kind of like, a, a, you know, a nice gesture to him because, like, my father, you know, would always go like you know see like the classics with my grandfather, and that was kind of their thing. And when you know we were getting brought up, it's like, hey, let's. Uh, Go see some inappropriate movies. So you guys have been doing this 14 years now. Yeah, so wow. you guys are you guys are kind of I think over the hump. I think you kind of kind of you guys kind of. I always say this to me, to me and all the people that go all the time. You kind of almost had everyone who was everybody that was available. There's not too many more. And I, every time we say that, you guys seem to pull off a whole new. Oh my God! Wow, they bring in those people in. You know, like how is how, it get harder for you guys to kind of keep it. Yes, fresh. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I, I absolutely, absolutely. Um, but I, I think as it, it, it does get harder because you know you, you you now try. You know, there's a lot of more competition than there was yeah. 14 years ago. So not only is there a lot more competition, um, but internally, you know, just the way we're kind of wired, like every show, you know, we just try to do like the best show possible. And, and I hate to say like like our, I feel like our biggest competition was our last show. You know, like okay, hey, how can yeah, how can we beat that? Oh, the hell of a lineup you guys um, had. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you just always try. To, I mean, I'm not just the last show, but like every show, it's like, okay, you know, how do we, you know, how do we outdo ourselves? And re- so for for this audience of Princeton TV, what did, what, name some of the people you had your last show, just so they realize the caliber of guests. They, they oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, last show we had uh, you know, John Cusack, mm-hmm. uh, who you know. Everybody but, knows John. Yeah, I, I, every, <laughs> and like you know, John Cusack. Uh, you know, he's like one of the guys. Like everybody knows and loves John Cusack. Yep. So it was a little bit, um, a little bit outside of the horror genre. Um, I mean, he, he's he's done. And you had what the Stranger Things was it? I'm oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we had um, you know, two of the kids from uh, Stranger Things. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, the character of uh, Lucas and Toothless. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're, we're the two but they're characters. an in now. They're like an in now show. Oh, oh you guys yeah, had yeah, them. That's, yeah. That's, that's uh, awesome. We had a little bit of a shiny reunion with uh, Danny Lloyd and uh, Lisa and Louise Burns, who were yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, so it's basically the kids from you know, yeah. the kids from The Shining, which which is awesome. Yes. Uh, we, we had a pretty solid thing reunion um, from John Carpenter's thing from uh, yes, the early '80s, which again still like. You know, if you look at you it, you had like, Wilford like, Brimley like too. His guy had Wilford w- Brimley. Wilford, yeah, and, got and, Wilford uh, out. <laughs> I mean, I, when we started getting like that information and speaking with his agent, I hate to say it was like, oh, well, he's still alive. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, that was kind of the natural reaction. Yeah. But to get to see him at, at the Q and A that we had with the um, the thing cast, I mean, he he was like amazing. It was like 
I was like, I love this guy. Like, I got I gotta say too, the the Q and A's at these conventions is like it, it's it's amazing because it you get a chance to speak with these people from these movies that like you don't get an opportunity to do that. And I would have to say, and if everybody thinks they know something about a movie, when you're seeing for an hour, hey, it could be the Lost Boys up there, it could be the cast of Friday the Thirteenth. Hearing stories from their mouths is this absolutely amazing. Like you find out all this stuff, you're, and then like, oh, it's yeah, this amazing yeah. time. No, no, it and, really is. And, and I mean, especially like like all the subtleties, or like like even with the uh, uh, even with the thing reunion, like like one of the big mysteries of the thing might have been like revealed if you're if you're able to watch that Q and A and you know online somewhere. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it, it was cool. Like, oh, like that's how uh, that's how they did that, and especially having. Um, uh, Dean Cuddy was the director of photography, and and again, a lot yeah. of things you don't uh, like. Like he he had a lot of insight that hey, this is what I did here, and this is what I did there. So, um, you know, not only the stars, but you know, the, the people behind the scenes as well that make things happen. Yeah. Do you do you guys uh, as a family? I guess the probably answer is probably more towards no. <laughs> but like, by when it's happening, right? I mean, you guys, you got a lot of people that you're serving many masters that weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you guys really have time? During that at all to really enjoy it, or is it constant go go? No, no. I mean, you're you're basically, um, you know, even probably like like the the Wednesday to Thursday before the show is is complete like game time, mm-hmm. and w- once the show starts rock and rolling, I mean, it, it's it's all just you're you're on the whole time, and um, uh, you know, I, I usually have a chance like like there's a brief moment in time like Sunday mornings. <laughs> Usually, when I have to go around and and pay actors per diems and stuff uh-huh. like that, that uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a chance to go and like shake hands. And you try to do things, it just doesn't. Like like I, I saw Cusack, John Cusack, for like I was around him for like two minutes, and, and that was at your convention. And, and that, that was it. That was, I mean, yeah. and, and, and and my dad will use the analogy. It's kind of like having having like a huge house party that that you don't get to enjoy because you're too busy. You're the host. Yeah, 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 and and. and and that, that's our job, you know, making sure. How's the, uh, you guys, safe to say, you guys take that following Monday off and uh, just sleep, sleep straight through, or uh, you I, still you still answering? I, I, I had started to take uh, the following Monday off, and originally, after, like, like the first show, um, the first show I took the following Monday off, and, and that was just, I, I, it felt like you were almost on, like, 24 hours a day for, like, three or four days, so I'd taken that day off. And then you get what we call like con colds, uh-huh. uh, because yeah, just just it feels like you're dealing with a lot of people in enclosed spaces, and, and there's, um, no, I don't know, it seems like more, more of like a breeding ground to get sick. So, uh, you know, <laughs> t- taking a day off just to like get back to a normal sleep routine. I, how do you feel though? I'm particularly one person that did this because I've been at every one of these. Like, I know, like. 80 people through your convention that I consider like family. I see them every six months. They all come around from the tri-state. I mean, it's amazing. Some of the people that I now call my friends, all because of this convention. I mean, you you guys, that still hit you guys as a family? Like, wow, we were bringing all this together oh, yeah, to make a yeah. family? So. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, so speaking of that, my, like literally speaking about making families, my, um, my cousin lives around like the Northern Virginia area and before he he had married his wife, his wife had come to our Maryland convention. They never met before, um, and you know she met Robert England. And one of her like dating profile pictures was like her with Robert England. Mm-hmm. My cousin saw it and was like, "Yo, what's up?" And then that led to you know like them getting married and having a kid and and all that good stuff. So I, I mean like like literally, if it, it was just like a very weird like you know, moment where it's like, oh, like we are bringing families together. And, and, and again, you know, the, the family and friends atmosphere is um, you know, kind of when you're surrounded by like like minds. It's kind of like kind of like being at a concert of a band that you like. You know, like you know, pretty much everybody there is cool. You know, I mean, like ninety percent of the people there are cool, and you can just strike up a conversation with with anybody there. And like, hey, you, you want to talk killer clowns from outer space? It's like, boom, like I got gotcha. you. Whereas in normal life, people don't know what that is. Like, so like, again, it feels like. Like like these are these are my people. Mm-hmm. You know, like th- this is this is where I belong. Gotcha. Amazing time and uh, 
And recently, I heard you were in a actual. You probably got to be in a horror movie. Oh huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it, it was uh, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, I was I was starring as John. I love I love starring is a good word, but uh, John in, uh, dark military support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, hey, would you like you would contact me? Hey, yep. do you want to get killed in a horror I, movie? And it was like, yeah, like I, I had to finally... reward these guys. These guys have been so good to me. I figured, hey, you know, I mean, no, crazy. no, no. You just got to kill my brother in the next one, and then we'll be. We'll, we'll... do that. They're gonna make sequels just it, to kill. It, yeah, you can make. Oh yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> you might want to after a while. <laughs> crazy, crazy. So you got. It's like a. Your family, though. I mean, you guys have really done an amazing job. Oh yeah, thank you. They got thank like you. behalf of like everybody watching. <laughs> This is, good. this is going to make your Facebook page anyway, isn't it? Like, I, I, I hope, I hope it makes a Facebook it, page. But yeah, but really, on behalf of everybody that goes to these conventions, I think we just say, you know, thank you. Thank you to your father oh. and Dave and Doug. And you guys are really done such a... You guys put a staple on the East Coast. I mean, you're one of the biggest ones out there. So yeah, yeah. you gave me, personally, like some amazing weekends of my life. I have grew up lo loving the Lost Boys more than anything. And like, because of you... I got to hang out with, like, almost every cast member oh. at some point. Like, I never thought growing up, like, wow, wow. Like, you know, like... Oh, no, I'm, I'm, it's the same thing for me. Like, uh -huh. you know, it never gets it never gets old. You know what I mean? Like, hey, here's somebody I, I love and I can meet them. So go ahead. Right in there and plug okay. your next show. Okay. Uh, Monster Mania Con 37, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, August 18th through 20th, uh, Cherry Hill Crown Plaza. Uh, we have Val Kilmer. We have Kate Beckinsale. And we have another of a number of other great guests, including uh, Sid Haig and Bill Mosley. And um, yeah, come check us out, www.monstermania.net. Dave Hagen, uh, Lauren, representing Adam Bierman Show. We're out. All right, man. Yeah, thank you.